So here we are, episode 6 of Emulating Ronaldo. And we are now all at the age of 27, I've holidayed it another couple of years. And we'd go through the usual process of ranking players from biggest value to smallest value. 60 million Roberto Corrali, incredible. And then 56 million Javier Robertinho. And then zero pound, Erdi Von Hunter. What's happened? He must be a free agent. Yes, he is. That is why he is worth nothing. Sorry, lad. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out the other episodes, please do so. That would be much appreciated. So you know where we've got to so far. This may be your first ever Golden FM video. You may happen to have just clicked on it randomly and wondering why this guy is acting like he's consumed far too much sugar. Which I haven't, actually. I probably need to eat more sugar. Where am I going? Um, I've got very confused. Oh, here we are. So, selection info. Let's get on with this. Average rating last season, 7.74 for Ahmed Shah. 51 games, blimey. That is insane. That is rather impressive. 20 goals, Marcus Duncan. We've not got a huge, amazing goal scorer, have we, there? But 20 goals in 34 games is pretty decent. Internationally, caps-wise... Tom Larson has reached 100 games for Denmark. That is incredible. At the age of 27, he's like Lucas Podolski, isn't he? Uh, uh, Bradley Handelar, although he plays in a completely different position, of course, but I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure Lucas Podolski got 100 caps by the age of 27. Anyway, Bradley Handelar has got 99, so he's one away. One away from the big one, and it's he'll probably get over the summer in like an international game. Unless he's retired. Because they all seem to retire on bloody 99 caps, don't they, on Football Manager? Josh Cunnington, 98. He's, he's not quite got to that 100 yet. I thought he was going to get there first. But he's got 66 goals. And also, Liam Lagan has also reached 90 caps. But 74 goals in 67 games with Mahmoud Wahidi for Lebanon. That's incredible. 110th in the world. They've shrunk a little bit late. Not shrunk, but gone down in the ratings lately. Which is a little disappointing. Look at this dude. He looks like a dude. Look at him, 55 years old from Iran, got incredible fitness and goalkeeping attributes there, and they've got Philippines next, we're going off topic here, let's go back, okay, so we're going to go down the player list and go in order of stuff, um, value, oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one, general info, value wise, so Roberto Corrali, um, the Serbian, 43 goals in 73 games for Serbia. That's a very impressive international record. Still at Atletico Madrid, earning 325k a week. I'm trying to speed up a bit now so we can get through the videos. Yeah, he's still here. Atletico Madrid haven't won it since 2020. They finished second three times, finished third last season. Not quite going for them lately, is it? I'm not sure we can see the uh, anything because, unfortunately, I forgot to load the Spanish league because I'm an idiot but Juventus won it last year Liverpool won it the previous year so they've won it twice now in uh, the space of four seasons so that's very impressive for them um, oh in fact it's we haven't actually seen the current oh it's tomorrow I might as well holiday one day I will be back soon in fact I just realized I won't holiday because I've holidayed all the way through to the future so there's no point doing that because you'll see in the next video who won the 2025 Champions League because if I do it now, there might be two different winners. It's either Juventus or PSG. You can find out in episode 7. Bit of tension there for you. Suspense. Um, so yeah, that's something to look forward to, to watch the next episode. Diego Simeone is still manager. Let's go back to Javier Robertinho at Juventus, who's about to play in the Champions League final. Um, he's done very well for, for Brazil. Moved for free from Real Madrid, so his contract must have run out. What has he managed with to do with Juventus? He's won the uh, Italian... This could be a treble for Juventus. So definitely tune in next time if you're a Juventus fan because then you can find out if you won the treble. But they have won Serie A. Other than that season, they've dominated. Sampdoria eventually won it. So we've got a few players playing for Sampdoria. Uh, they finished second this season. They do very well, don't they, on these uh, on these games. So well done, lads. They won the World Club Championship as well. I don't rubber tin your uh, Marcus Duncom. He's unhappy. Oh, he's a sad Austrian, isn't he? Um, he's got 36 goals in 85 games for Austria, and he's at Sampdoria. So I don't know why he's unhappy, considering he's just he's won the league with them. He's got good average ratings, lots of goals, 
worth a huge amount of money, but he's unhappy for whatever reason. Let's find out. Why is he unhappy? Wants a new deal to be due to good form. Okay, he's playing well. Wants some more money. Yeah, that 100k a week just isn't going far enough. Can't pay the school fees. Moving on to Jens Oostjevels, a uh, Belgian who plays for Juventus now. In fact, he's moved for free as well. They're all going for free from Madrid to Juventus. Jumping ship. Fancy a bit of the Italian life. And has won various things with them. In fact, he was named in the European Championship Dream Team or with Belgium. Uh, he's won the Champions League. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, that's the Dream Team. I'm getting confused. Uh, he's won various things. Which is good. Yeah. So that's the European Football Championships. Italy won it in 2024. For those interested, they beat France in the final. Do we have any Italians? I've actually forgotten. I think we do, don't we? Or maybe we don't. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. No, can't see anyone there. Maybe we don't. Well, we'll go down the list and find out. I really can't remember. Because there's so many people and I don't record these on the same day. So, where are we up to? Josh Cunnington, our Australian. 66 gills in 98 games. I'm not sure. What, that wasn't an accent at all, was it? That was awful. That wasn't any... Ah, uh, forget it. He's at Sampdoria. Um, who, so he's done very well. He's been there his whole career. So he's a bit of a one-club hero for, for uh, Sampdoria. And he's won various competitions in this time. So well done to him. He doesn't seem to be unhappy. He's got a broken ankle, which sounds quite painful. But luckily, it's whilst he's on his holidays. So that's not too bad, is it? Nelius Niheim, a Norwegian. Got 63 caps for Norway. He's also at Atletico Madrid, who are a huge team, of course, on this game. They've done very well lately. Uh, haven't won the league, of course, as they were saying earlier. But they were the Euro Cup runners-up back then. They haven't won anything for a while, in fact, have they? Although we can't see... Because, for whatever reason, we can't see everything for these teams. Um, or maybe yeah, we can. I, we can't see their league performance. These are the Euro Cup winners. As you can see, Arsenal have won a couple of times. Roma and PSG the last two seasons. So some big teams winning that competition. Let's go on to Bradley Handelaar, our Dutch legend, who's absolutely beastly. And plays in Manchester City and has done for a very long time. And he's done rather well, hasn't he, uh, in his time with Manchester City. Let's look at this view, just out of interest, can play many different positions. And I think he's rather happy. He's got no negative concerns. He thinks Berardi is a good player, whoever he is. Is he? Oh, he's real, yeah. I've heard of him. He's very good. Very good player. Italian, absolute machine by the looks of this game. Uh, so maybe you can look him up. Uh, this is myself, Paul Holden. Nine goals in 48 games for England. Haven't quite developed my all-round game like many players, but I've had a good career nonetheless. Not quite broken the 50 mark yet for caps-wise, but um, I've won a few things with Chelsea. In fact, I've won the cup double this season uh, with the FA Cup, the Capital One Cup. So last two seasons, Burnley and Chelsea, a mixture of teams, a bit QPR in the final. Did I score a winner? No. Unfortunately, you know, I don't really score many goals, do I? And 3-2 winning against Man United in the FA Cup final, who won it the previous year. That's a good cup final, isn't it? Uh, Jovic, Hazard still there. How good is he now? He must be a machine. He's 34, though. Wow. He's been there his whole career. So, yeah, maybe a, a little look into the future. Let's move on to Matthew Harmon, our Congolese magician in midfield, 21 goals in 73 games for Congo, and he's also at Sampdoria, they're all over there aren't they, want a bit of the Italian life of uh, wine and ham and cheese and pizza and I'm probably being slightly hysterically, yeah, let's stop with the Italian stereotype, actually ham and cheese, I've got to say when I went to Holland I had that for every meal of the day um, yeah I don't know why maybe some Dutch person watching my videos can let me know do you like ham and cheese do you eat it at every meal I'm going off topic again anyway Liam Lagana our Maltese maestro bit of alliteration there 45 goals in 92 games for Malta 
And he's a bit of an Arsenal legend, been there for many, many years, and has won a few competitions, as you can see. He's won the Euro Cup 2022, um, named in various, various things. Everyone spots things when I uh, in the videos. I don't, because I'm trying to concentrate on talking and clicking on the right buttons and actually manage to discuss the important th aspects of the players. So I, I miss sort of little things. You might pause the video. It probably takes you like half a year to watch every video if you pause it. But I very much appreciate every view, every comment, every like. And it's it really is much appreciated. Mushroom, English, 82 games, four goals, despite having very good... Fin His finishing's gone down from 20 to 19. Oh, no. And he's also banned in the Champions League for ascending off. He's misbehaving. He's injured for three months as well. He's broken his foot. Must have stepped on a dodgy mushroom. And he's won the uh, Premier League this season. And the last two seasons, in fact. So he's dominated. Let's have a quick look at the player stats. Is he in here? Can you see him? Can you see mushroom? He's not on assists. He's not on goals. He's not on anything. Mushroom, where are you? Disappointed in you. Raheem Sterling's got the most assists. He must be ancient. He's thir oh, he's 30. I'm th that's still quite old. It's weird to see him at 30 years old, isn't it? Oh, look. Robinson. He's, the, he's him. I know. He's the left-back Scottish guy. Colcars. Oh, wow. It's pretty amazing. Oh, Rigi. How old is he? He's 30. Looks like a very good player. Check him out, lads. So many caps for Belgium as well. So um, if you're Liverpool, keep Origi because he's a beast. Let's move on. Mitchell Bowser, the other Maltese player, 22 goals in 82 games, 90k a week, plays for AC Milan where he's moved for free, eventually leaving Real Sociedad where he didn't manage to finish in the top three at all. Uh, and we can't actually see what he's won because he was there so long. But maybe he'll win something with AC Milan at some point. Maximus Balington, who is at Bayern Munich and has been there for a while. Didn't have such a good season last season, average rating-wise. My voice is starting to go now. Um, let's have a look at the league. Oh, we, They haven't won it for two seasons, Leverkusen, but they finished second, just two points behind. So, let's go on to Martin Madge from Bultan, 11 goals in 41 games. And he plays for Marseille. And he's been there a while. And he's done okay. But not magnificent. Um, he's French Cup runners-up. European Super Cup runners-up. Which means they must have won this something. He must have won something when he wasn't there. I guess. I don't know. I'm a bit confused. It's not on there anyway. Let's go down. Rob Vernon from Gibraltar. 11 goals in 59 games for Gibraltar. At Man United, where he's been there for three seasons. Went for 24.5 million. Not been magnificent for them. Has he? Oh, lots of injuries. Uh, this is his uh, things, competition victories. Um, he's won the Community Shield with Man United and the Premier Division in 2023. Let's go down to Ashwin Shubedi. Uh Player from Nepal. He's still only got two caps for Nepal. They must never play. It just doesn't make any sense. He's got no caps. So, uh, he's played for Napoli for a while and hasn't won anything with them, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Um, oh, he won the Italian Cup ages ago now. Uh, I've probably mentioned that on three separate videos. So. Ahmed Shah plays for Juventus, 25 caps for Pakistan. So, he's obviously won things with Juventus, which is good. Won many things with Juventus, which is fantastic. Won the Champions League. Yeah. Oh, look at all those things in just those two years. Three years. Well done, Ashwin Sabed. I mean, uh, Ahmed Shah. Dylan Knight from San Marino. 18 goals in 71 games for San Marino, who are up to 166th in the world. They've been higher at one point. Um, but that's not bad. Not bad at all. Looks incredible. Wow. I want him. Uh, and he plays for Napoli as well. So he hasn't won a, a huge amount. Jack O'Halloran, an Irishman. 73 caps. Ireland, our left back from Man City, and he's been there his whole career, so he's won lots and lots of things with Manchester City. 
Cristiano Belenta, a lot of support for this guy. He's at Sampdoria. 70 caps for Indonesia. And he moved to Sampdoria last season on a free from Inter. So he's got his big move. It's weird saying he's gone from Inter to Sampdoria, which is a big move. But it is on this game because Sampdoria are brutes. They just win everything. And he's won the Italian Super Cup um, with Sampdoria since moving there. But he's finished second, of course, as well. So hopefully lots of big things for the Sampdorians. There's just so many of them. It's ridiculous. I think that's the last one, though. Where are we? Uh, yeah, Tom Larson. Oh, he's the first player to get to 100 caps. He's been insane. He's at Chelsea. He's been there his whole career, apart from the first season in the Danish league. And has won many things with Chelsea. He's been named in the Team of the Week multiple occasions. And we'll have a look at... Uh, oh, players. Supporters Player of the Year as well. We'll have a look at um, Golden Boot winner and all that stuff in a minute. Uh, okay, down to Karen Patel, our Indian. 62 caps for India, 6 goals. Also at Chelsea. Moved there for 11 million. So he's had two moves, actually, in the, since the last video. So he went for 4 million to Bordeaux and then 11 million to Chelsea. So good move for him. Two good moves for him. He's won the, the double this season with Chelsea. Um, that's fantastic to see. Well done, lad. Marcio Salgado, our Portuguese player, one goal in 44 games for Portugal, plays for Bayern Munich, where he has been there for a while, and as you can see, he's won a few things with them, the German Cup last year, and the runners up of the Euro Cup this season, moving down to Christian Johansson, the other Danishman, eight goals in 80 games for Denmark, plays for Stoke, and has been there quite a while. But they are in the Premier Division. They did get relegated at one point, sort of towards the bottom of the league, unfortunately. But has won the Capital One Cup. I think we saw that in the last video. Uh, which is good. Well done. Can he get a big move at some point? We'll have to see. Anguilla Grisianta, uh, Argentina. In two, only two caps for Argentina. Still time to get more. Um, he's at Porto, where he's had... A, a good career really he's won various things um, can't seem to win the league though can they at the moment it seems to be dominated by Benfica and Sporting also haven't won it since 2020 now which is a bit of a surprise Mario Bradatelli lots of support for the Azerbaijani uh, 20 goals in 63 games for Azerbaijan and at Chelsea of course he's won a few things didn't play in the Capital One Cup final by the looks of it this time around. Um, I don't know how the medals works in that competition. It might not show up on on the achievements on FM, but in real life maybe they do, even if they don't play in the final. But yeah, he's won, he's won a few things with them, hasn't he? So he's, he's done okay. He's not played huge numbers of games since his big money move, but he gets the odd game here and there. Not many this season, though, at all. In fact, one of the games was the final with the FA Cup, I think, by the looks of it. Or maybe played earlier on in the competition. Hayden Eyre, who also plays for Stoke. Obviously, our Welshman that plays for Czech Republic. Lots of angry Welshmen. You know, traitor. Hayden Eyre, what are you doing? But I, he always comments on the videos. Brilliant stuff. Thank you, mate, for commenting so much and letting me know your thoughts. It's really good. Really appreciate it. So thank you. Keep it up. If yeah, <laughs> be brilliant. Um, so yeah, he's done done okay in his career, really. Uh, can he get a big money move at some point? We'll have to see. He looks a good player, doesn't he? Looks good. Mahmoud Wahidi, obviously doing incredibly well internationally, but club level hasn't quite got above sort of lower mid-table Premiership team with QPR. Uh, stayed in the Premiership for a while. Gets gets a few goals, uh, fourteen in all competitions, twelve, and then sixteen this season. So he's done well for them. Um, I don't think he's really won anything in his career. Capital One Cup runners-up this season, of course. Uh, resigned as the Lebanon captain. What's happened there? Costas Chilibu, our Greek player. Four goals in 80 games for Greece. And he's at Arsenal, where he has been for... Where are we? Yeah, he's been there for ages. Ages, ages, ages. And won a few things. Astrobel Borrego, a Portuguese person. Only four caps for Portugal. But um, he's a defender, so perhaps we'll have time to improve. 
Um, he's been with uh, Marseille after moving from Braga, 13.75 million. Big move for him. Obviously, uh, they haven't managed to win the league. In fact, they where did they finish? They finished there. I oh, know that's Leon. Where are we? Oh, there. Uh, so PSG have eventually won it after many years of Monaco and Toulouse dominance. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Franciano Man, our Colombian, also plays for Arsenal. How long has he been there for? I'll keep clicking on the wrong one. Oh, oh yeah, he moved three seasons ago. He's done. O he's done okay. Not amazing stuff for Franciano Man. Uh, and hasn't really won anything in his career, unfortunately. Nathan Alderson, who plays for Atletico as well. Three goals in 58 games internationally. And when did he move to Atletico? Three seasons ago. Not played many games, though, unfortunately. And a very poor average rating in the few games he did play last season. But he's been in the Moldovan best 11, as you'd expect. Won the French Champions Trophy five seasons ago. Angelo Inoscu, our goalkeeper, Portuguese, very good, 66 caps, plays for Porto, so he's won he's won a few cup competitions, and he's a very good keeper. Oscar Anzola, Venezuelan, plays for Liverpool, nine goals, 50 games internationally, been Liverpool, at Liverpool a while, he's doing okay, not amazingly, um, he's won the Champions League of course, um, which is fantastic, and the FA Cup. Moving on to Adrian Tarnowski, the Polishman who decided to play for Norway. And two goals in 43 games for Norway. Uh, plays for Marseille as well. There's a few players that play for Marseille, I think. Um, but he moved from Man City three seasons ago as a part of exchange. And he's done okay for Marseille, but not nothing amazing. Johan Adolfsson. Lots of support for him from a few Swedish viewers. And he's eventually moved, but unfortunately decided on MK Dons rather than like a massive team 25 caps for Sweden now so he's done he's done quite well there um, and he's got many years ahead of him as a keeper of course uh, moved actually twice he went to Stoke from West Ham who may have been relegated in fact if we have a quick or oh, maybe not I don't know yeah they went down then up again so I think I think he left sort of when they went down or the season before. But he went for five million to Stoke, where he played lots of games, did had much better uh, sort of in terms of goals conceded, did much better that season in the league. And um, yeah. And then went to MK Dons for five point seven five million, who are in the premiership and have survived. They finished ninth in fact, so they did very well there. To um, oh look five places Champions League that's interesting um yeah they've done very well to finish in ninth so that's very good um and you know he might move on again because he's moved twice now after staying at West Ham for a long old time so everyone supporting him do you think that's a good move let me know um perhaps I mean ninth place is good Araf Hamoud our Man City player nineteen caps he's wanted by someone wanted by Chelsea in fact uh, oh where are we going. So he's been there uh, ages and doesn't play that many games. Played quite a few the previous season, but when he does play, he gets very good average ratings. But unfortunately, he doesn't play often enough. And he's won a few things of Man City in his time. Be interesting to see if he does move. Um, yeah, 19 caps for England, sorry, I already said that. Statistical approach, second from last. Has 30 caps for the USA now and one goal. Um, but never quite developed quite the same as some of us. And his mental attributes aren't great, are they? which could mean when his physical attributes go, he might just flop, unfortunately. We'll have to see. He's at Marseille as well. Lots of players there. He's wanted by a Portuguese club. It's a bit of a shame. I'm sorry, mate. Um, but thanks for watching the videos and all the support anyway. You've been fantastic recently. Um, Runners-up win the French Cup. Won the North American Gold Cup with USA. That's his only real competition. And Olympics runners-up as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Moved from Atletico to to Marseille for ten million, and since then hasn't really done much. Oh, it's a real shame. Hope he gets sort of a move to maybe an average Premiership team, where he gets lots of game time and perhaps can revive his career. Perhaps develop into a defensive midfielder. Although he hasn't really got the mental attributes. 
Oh wait, how many more have we got to go? Oh, we've got more than two. Sorry, you're not second from last. Randall Baron Pusey, worth 3.9 million. He's Canadian. Lots of caps for Canada, which is great. Also, playing his uh, time. His uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> he's in Italy, essentially, at Atlanta, and he's been there four seasons. He's done okay. But not every player can develop amazingly. Now remember, I've put minus ten. So if you develop uh, for the potential, if you um, download the database, which is in the description below, then you can, in fact, play the game. And it may come out differently. Broccoli Radio, for example, might turn into a superstar. And he's, he's done very well internationally. 26 goals in 38 games for Ireland. He's obviously not played a huge number of games. But, um, but at the same time, he has done very well in the games he has played for Ireland. And he's at, been at Aston Villa for ages. And he's he started to play a lot more games but simply because they got relegated. And he scored a few goals previous season. And then this season, not so many. Um, and they actually lost in the playoff final against Knox County, which is a bit unfortunate. Birmingham and Brentford going up. South End in third. What's going on there? Look at that. What a division. Fleetwood in there. Peter Bournemouth and Charlton going down. Mansfield up there, what's going on there? Uh, league one, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at the lower leagues. Chesterfield, Gillingham, Brighton going up. Luton, Oldham, Wigan going down to League two. And League two, uh, Doncaster, Cambridge, Torquay, Rochdale, Doncaster, Bury and York going down. No great surprises. Sheffield Wednesday down there, it's a bit of a surprise. Bolton are down there. And the conference, is there anything major down there? Bradford, Gateshead, Grimsby. Wimbledon there, Macclesfield, Wildston, <laughs> uh, FC United have made it up to the conference. Interesting. Okay, let's go back. Just one more player to go. Broccoli Radio. Oh, lads, I really wanted him to do well. Everyone's been supporting him. Hasn't quite made it. Uh, Eddie Von Hunter hasn't got a team now, but he's played very well internationally. Uh, maybe has just left recently. He left Man City, in fact after playing no games this season so he should surely go to a big team because he's he's a big player he's done very well um so it'd be interesting to see where he is in a couple of years but thank you for watching oh wait he's wanted by three clubs there you go uh yeah thank you so much for watching this episode sorry for being a bit random at the start uh but we need to try and liven things up you see because it can be a bit boring after a while um oh wait we were going to look at stuff it's not the end of the episode well player of the year Sorry if this video is extremely long. Maybe you can split it into like 17 parts. World best... No, no. World Cup best player. That's wrong. Well, who won the World Cup best player? Adama Traore. Well, there you go. Munir is in there. World player. World player of the year. There we go. Gabriel Barbosa. What a legend. He's up there at the age of 28. Plays for Man United. Yeah, Suarez. Okay, let's go down. Sue, Streetman's in there, and uh, uh, none of our players are here, in fact we only really need to look at the last couple don't we, Got well Golden Ball, Barbosa there as well, come on, surely one of our players, there's a Sampdoria player, hmm, none of them in there, World Team of the Year surely, so we look at the last couple, so, there are Sampdoria players in there, but none of our lads, unfortunately. Ustjavels is in there. Yes, he's in it again. Being a bit of a beast, to be fair. Ustjavels has been in the team of the year the most, I think, out of our players. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I'll be showing other things at the end anyway, just to do a review, to show all those sort of things and go through them all to make sure I haven't missed anything important. Um, but thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I've missed that's major. I probably have. I can't remember everything. So, And if I keep showing everything in great detail, the videos really, really will be so long. None of you are probably listening to this, in fact. But uh, please leave a like, and I'll see you in episode 7.